In the previous episode, Pachita had replaced his heart with Denji's and saved him. After some time an official devil hunter girl came there. Now the girl is going somewhere with him in her car. But Denji is hungry. That's why it is coming sound from his stomach. Now the girl asks Denji his name and says that I need to tell you something right now. Hearing this, Denji listens carefully to her words. Makama tells Denji that she expect yes or woof for answers, and she does not need a dog that says no, because from now on, he is in her care. Denji is shocked to hear this from her, but he has to obey her. The girl also tells Denji that when they get dogs that are not helpful, they put them down. Now Denji gets angry with the girl due to this, because he started liking her, but she is behaving like a dog with him, whereas Denji thought that the girl was very nice and kind. Meanwhile, Denji misses Pachita and has become sad to remember about his death. But Denji was very hungry. Knowing this the girl tells him that we have not had breakfast yet either. So let's grab something at the rest area. Hearing this, Denji immediately refuses her. Because he doesn't have any cash. On this the girl says that whatever he wants to eat select it. Because she will pay for that. She then gives Denji her shirt to wear. And says that you are conspicuous. Without a shirt on. Now Denji is surprised to see her kindness and wears the shirt given by her. Denji was also very happy with this, because all his life people have avoided him, saying he is filthy and smell bad. Also no one has ever been nice to him before. Denji is very much attracted by the girl's beauty and now started liking her. After some time Denji comes with the girl to a restaurant, where he selects yudon and sausage to eat, while the girl wants to take curry yudon. Hearing this Denji says, that sounds good too. After that, surprises and falls on the girl. Seeing this, the girl wakes him up. Denji then tells him that it will be 1100 yen altogether. So I think I am a little low on blood right now. Hearing this, the girl asks how did he end up like this. Denji then tells him that she will not believe this. But he had a pet devil and he replaced my heart and died for my sake. So it is hard to believe and I do not really want to believe it either. Now the girl is also surprised to hear this. She tells Denji that there is not a lot of precedent for your condition. Even from a historical perspective. But it doesn't even have a name and she believes him. Denji is shocked to hear this from her. That's when the girl says that she have got a particularly good sense of smell. So she can tell that his best friend is alive inside of him. Because Denji's body has the sense of both a human and a devil. Now Denji could not believe that this could happen. But still this thing was very amazing for him and he faints again. After some time he regains consciousness. Where the girl is sitting next to him and his breakfast is also kept in front of him. At this time Denji was very hungry. So he asks the girl that can he eat it. The girl then asks if he is alright, and can he eat on his own. On this Denji says that he cannot. After which the girl starts feeding Denji with her own hands, and Denji starts enjoying breakfast. Meanwhile, he asks the girl her name, after which the girl tells him her name is Makama. Denji asks her if is there a type of guy she he like. Hearing this, Makama thinks for a while and then says that she is into the Denji type. Now Denji is surprised and says, dude, that's me. After this, Denji starts moving forward from here with Makama. But at this moment, he was only thinking about Makama's words. Because she said that she is into the Denji type. This makes Denji feel that Makama likes him. So he tells himself that he like her too, Miss Makama. Now after some time Makama comes in front of a building with Denji. Which was the Tokyo headquarters for devil hunters. Makama takes Denji inside the headquarters. She tells Denji that there are over a thousand devil hunters in Tokyo, including civilians. But public safety has the best benefits. And a lot of paid vacation time. Denji thinks that if Miss Makama likes him. Then maybe if they work together, they will eventually get together. So, Denji wants to get together with her real bad. Now Makama gives Denji the devil hunter's uniform to wear. He comes immediately after changing the uniform. After which, Makama introduces him to Hayakawa, who had started three years before. Makama tells Denji that he is going to be shadowing Hayakawa today. Denji is completely shocked to hear this, because he thought that he would team up with Makama. Now Hayakawa forces him to take Denji with him, and says that he is not in her league. Still, Denji refuses to move in with Hayakawa, because he only wanted to work with Makama. Seeing this, Makama tells Denji that if he does a good job, they can work together someday. Denji then gets ready to go with Hayakawa. He asks Hayakawa if Miss Makama has a boyfriend, but Hayakawa doesn't answer him. Seeing this, Denji starts shouting at him, after which Hayakawa brings Denji with him to a place and beats him very badly. But Denji could not understand why he is beating him. Hayakawa then asks Denji to quit the job, and also warns him that if he appeared to him tomorrow, then he will kick his ass again. Hearing this, Denji starts asking Hayakawa the reason for this. Then Hayakawa says that people who start this job without thinking it through end up dead. 
because he had colleagues who got into devil hunting for the payday. But it got them all killed by devils. And the survivors are the ones with real motivation. Hayakawa thinks that Denji is just after Makama. That's why he took the job. So he asks Denji to quit his job as a devil hunter. Hearing all his words, Denji says ding ding. Hayakawa then says that he will let her know that Denji ran off scared away by the devils. After this, he throws his cigarette at Denji, spits and starts leaving from here. But then Denji suddenly attacks his balls from behind. As a result, Hayakawa falls down in a single kick. But Denji was very angry. That's why, he kicks his balls many times. Denji tells Hayakawa that he got treated like a decent human being for the first time. And even had someone pay for his meal. So it is like a dream come true for him. Denji says that he did not really think it through when he started devil hunting. But if he get to keep up this kind of life, he does not care if it kills him and it is not just his life anymore. Now Hayakawa also angrily punches Denji and says that Makama is not the kind of woman a punk like you should be chasing. Hearing this, Denji understands that Hayakawa also likes Makama. He then kicks his balls again and forces him to give up. After some time Denji comes to Makama with Hayakawa. He tells her that Hayakawa's testicles were attacked by the nut devil. But then Hayakawa tells that Denji is lying. Seeing this, Makama asks if they think they two can work together. Denji then says that no way, he is a piece of trash. Hearing this, Makama says that I am glad two are hitting it off. She then asks Denji to join Hayakawa's unit. But Hayakawa is not happy with this at all. He says that he has already got enough troublemakers. So adding another, he doesn't know what will happen. Makama then says that your team has an experimental one, operating differently from the usual method. Hearing this, Hayakawa asks what exactly he is, after which Makama tells him that Denji is human but can transform into a devil. However, Hayakawa could not believe this because he always figured those stories or baseless rumors. Then Makama says that Denji is special, which is why he is going to be receiving special treatment. So, if he tries to resign or becomes insubordinate, Denji will be disposed of as a devil. Hearing this, Denji asks what that is mean. Makama says that it means they are working together until he die. Now Hayakawa leaves here with Denji. He tells Denji that he is going to be living with him, so he can keep an eye on him. And just remember, they said that he can kill him if he tries to run off. Denji gets sad hearing this. He asks Hayakawa if Miss Makama is a bad person. Hayakawa then says that if he thinks that is the case, then he can give up on her. Because if he is really a devil, he should just be grateful she did not kill him. He then tells Denji that of course she is a good person, because she saved his life. But now Denji starts missing Makama, and he hopes that he gets to hug her again. Hearing this, Hayakawa gets angry at him. After some time Denji comes to his room with Hayakawa, where he first fills his stomach and then takes a bath. Just then news comes that a fiend has been reported in an East Narama residence. So civilian evacuation and cordon are both complete. As soon as they come to know about this, Hayakawa comes here with Denji. The police officer tells them that the fiend has holed up in a second-story room, so they will leave it to them from here. Now Denji and Hayakawa come to the building, but Denji did not know what fiend is, so he asks Hayakawa about it. Hayakawa then tells when a devil takes control of a human corpse, called a fiend. Hearing this Denji asks that doesn't this make him a fiend? Hayakawa says no, because fiends always have characteristic heads. Hayakawa then opens the door, where fiend was right in front of them. Hayakawa tells Denji that the devil controls a fiend's personality. Now Hayakawa tells Denji to turn into a devil and show him what he can do, because that will help him figure out if he is of any use. On seeing them, fiend goes to attack them, but Denji kills it using only his weapon. Seeing this, Hayakawa asks Denji why he had not used his devil powers. To this Denji says that when he kill devils with his powers, they get real messed up, but he could end it up like this fiend, so he wanted to make it painless for him. Hearing this, Hayakawa gets angry at him. He tells Denji that fiends are just like any other devil. So if he is hunting them, then drop the sympathy. Because his entire family was killed by a devil right in front of him. He tells Denji that the cops down below are risking their lives to protect their wives and kids. So he would rather make any devil he kill suffer as much as possible. But what is he trying to do? Make friends with them. Denji then says that if there's a devil he could be friends with, then of course he would because he does not have any friends. Hearing this, Hayakawa leaves him and walks out. Just then Denji sees some dirty magazines here. He says that when the chainsaws are out, blood gets everywhere and makes a real mess. But he made it easy for you. Denji keeps a magazine with him. But now he misses Pachita too, who wanted to see his dream. Denji says that he is pretty serious about that, because he is already living the dream, just like his bargain said. 
He gets to bathe every day, eats good food, and gets to hang around a hot chick. However, Denji feels like something is missing. That would give him a real perfect score. After this Denji starts thinking about Makama again. And he wants to touch her oranges. Because touching oranges is a dream he gave up on a long time ago. Now Denji and Hayakawa return to Makama. Where Makama tells Denji that she is assigning him a partner starting today. As a precaution, public safety executes patrols and smaller missions with two-person teams. But Makama also tells Denji to be careful because she is a fiend. After some time his partner comes here. Her name is Power and she looks very dangerous. Denji gets angry seeing him and starts saying that are fiends allowed to be devil hunters. But then his eyes go to the orange of Power. After which he agrees to make her his partner. Makama tells that fiends like devils are targets for extermination. But Power is highly rational, so she has been on Hayakawa's team. But Public Safety Devil Extermination. Special Division 4 is an experimental unit, so the higher-ups will be looking to dissolve your team as soon as possible, if you cannot get results. And she doesn't need to explain what would happen to them if that happens. Now Denji goes out on patrolling with Power. Makama has said that Power's horns stand out a bit too much, so Denji needs to patrol areas without a lot of pedestrians. At this moment the Power starts running here and there. She tells Denji to provide her with something to kill immediately, because she is starved for blood. But Denji does not say anything to Power for this act and both go ahead from here. Just then two police officers are seen in front of them, who starts doubting Denji and Power. But Denji shows his ID card, near which the police officers leave from here. Now even after a long time, Denji does not find any devil. Just then Power starts saying that this is likely my fault. Because before becoming a fiend, she was a devil that was feared by all. So demonic peons will likely flee the moment they catch my scent. Now hearing this from her, Denji starts getting angry at Hayakawa. Because he is the one who put them together. Then all of a sudden, Power feels the scent of blood. She immediately starts running in that direction and Denji also follows her. Then we see that there is a sea cucumber devil at some distance from here. Where an officer is calling a backup to kill him. Just then Power comes here. She attacks him with her weapon and kills him. Now Power becomes very happy after killing this devil and Denji is very surprised to see this. After this episode ends, watch the video of the left side if you have missed the previous part. And subscribe to any summary for more anime recaps.